And Biden, I was a little worried about him, Larry. Let me tell you why. Because his ass was sprinting out to the podium. I thought he was going to fall. I was worried he was going to be out of breath. <laughs> but let's relive the excitement. He was doing the Biden shuffle. It's that he little run he has. It's the Biden it, shuffle. It looked. I, I was telling my wife, it looked like he was trying to dance a little bit. What was he doing? The Cuban <laughs> shuffle while he was running up there? Let's take a look and relive the, 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 the pageantry from Saturday night when they named Biden the president-elect. The people of this nation have spoken. They've delivered us a clear victory, a convincing victory, a victory for we the people. We've won with the most votes ever cast on presidential ticket in the history of the nation, 74 million. What I must admit has surprised me Tonight, we're seeing all over this nation, all cities and all parts of the country, indeed across the world, an outpouring of joy, of hope, renewed faith, and tomorrow, bring a better day. To the American people who make up our beautiful country, thank you for turning out in record numbers to make your voices heard. And I know times have been challenging, especially the last several months. The grief, sorrow, and pain, the worries, and the struggles. But we have also witnessed your courage, your resilience, and the generosity of your spirit. L ladies and gentlemen, let me say this. Biden deserved to run out there because he has done something that is more impossible for a white man than any white man in history. Joe Biden is a part of history, not once, but twice. Yeah. He will go down in history as being the first white guy to be the vice president to the first black man ever in office. Then he will go down in history as being the same guy to then become president and have not only the first woman, but the first woman of minority descent, black in the White House. So he deserved to come down there like he about to get a ring with the LA Lakers. He deserved for his run to look like the Cuban shuffle. He deserved to be able to come to the cookout and do the electric slide, all kinds of wacky ways he wants to, whenever he wants to, Larry, how was you feeling? I saw you out on those streets celebrating what happened. How do you feel about Joe Biden and this Kamala Harris team up? And there she is standing next to all the white dudes before her that have been <laughs> vice president. Yeah, man, I'm I'm a uh, <clears throat> I'm happy to see him out there. I'm you know, it is interesting that he is a part of history like that as far as being the vice president to the first black president and then being the president to the first black vice president. So he's definitely going to have, he's definitely going to have his place in the history books. So mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to, to see how this term plays out though. Cause there's a lot of stuff that's going down and uh, I just, I'm proud of him. I'm proud. I'm proud of the, I'm proud of the, of the democratic voters. I can't say that I'm proud of the nation as a whole because in large part, this election was a referendum on racism and bigotry and sexism and xenophobia. And what we said as America is half of the country is okay with it. Yeah. You know? And so, and so I, I, I will say that I'm proud of the Democrats for getting the vote out. I'm proud of people showing up and going to the polls and mailing in their ballots and going in early. I'm proud of all that. I'm proud of all the efforts that people made, big and small, you know, just from people like you and I telling people to vote to people out there canvassing in the streets, people making the, the endless phone calls that would get on your nerves, to people sending the endless text messages and voicemails and everything else that got on your nerves. But all of that constantly reminding you how important it is for you to get out and, and cast your vote. So I'm proud of the Democrats for doing that. Um, you know, it, it's... 
On the other hand, though, it's still it's still very sad that you have a complete racist, bigot, sexist, you know, everything else on the other side. And so many Americans support that. And, you know, I hear I hear Joe Biden talking about unity and we need to we need to get together. And I guess I'm at a place where I'm just sort of like if they're going to have to come to us, I'm not it can't be any more of this. We go to them and try to appease them and make them happy. No, nah, if you want to get down, you you went out there. You went out there, showed your ass, you rolled in the mud, you got dirty. You want to come back in the house? Then take a shower, get clean, and then you can come in. Mm -hmm. But you don't get to come in here with all that Trump stink on you, you know? Mm -hmm. You want to come in the house? You're welcome to come in the house, You but you have to get clean first, you know? And, and, and we're so tired of hearing that it was a referendum on the left because people are so afraid of far lefty socialism. Larry, we talked about this Friday. How the hell is people afraid of that when the, the people who voted against Trump are afraid of racism, run amok. They are afraid of bigotry, run amok. They are afraid of lies that have been ran amok. And they are afraid of people who are extremists. And there is nobody in the left's camp who is as far left as Donald Trump is to the right. Even right. to this moment, ladies and gentlemen, you yeah. still got people hamming it up for this guy when he knows that funding is supposed to be put in place for the transition team. He won't concede and let this guy do the transition money so that Biden can put things in place. He's His ass is out there golfing when Biden becomes the president-elect. Do you think he's called Biden to say, congratulations, come meet me so I can give you the plan? No, because he ain't got a plan. He's still firing people who have been stalwarts in the Republican Party right now this day, ladies and gentlemen. And y'all voted for that. And someone said a startling thing to me, but I've been told, Crystal, my wife, the thing that scares me the most is that when me, her, you, Larry, well, Larry, not you per se, but us. When we leave this house, we could be walking and working next to people who like Trump based on the way the numbers went. 60% right. of white people voted for Donald Trump. Yeah. Now, you know who oh. saved it? You know who saved the Democratic Party for Joe Biden, Larry? The same, but the, yep, the same women who have been the backbone of this nation since they first brought them off the damn boat, black women. Yeah. The same people, ladies and gentlemen, that's who saved this election because the, the black men vote went up for Trump because I yeah. guess, hey, yeah, it's, maybe it's, black it's embarrassing and shameful. It's, 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 it's like they're voting for their own re-enslavement. I mean, because that's what those groups out there that are supporting Trump and he's out there calling to them. That's what they want. They want a second civil war so they can put things back the way they were. And if people don't understand the way things were, the way things were meant that black people were enslaved. Women were essentially enslaved because women back then were the property of their husbands, yep. even though they couldn't technically be sold. A wife couldn't technically be sold. A daughter could, you know, and, you know, and, and, and if you weren't a land owning male, you didn't vote. Nope. You know, if you didn't, I mean, these, these people out there that are, that are, that want to, that are supporting this stuff is they don't they seem to not really understand the history for which they are trying to get back to because for most of those people they would not have the rights that they have today if we went back then they just wouldn't because they're not wealthy landowning males they're just you know a bunch of them are women they wouldn't be able to vote they wouldn't be i mean let's i mean let's and for all those people who, who are thinking like oh you're just being crazy i just want you to think back to just not that far back in time and how ridiculous it was and how much progress the left has dragged this country forward. Cause there are simple things that like when women couldn't vote or here's something that was really scary for women. How about that? A woman could not be raped in a marriage. Yes. How about that one? And if North, married, North Carolina, you could rape your, just, wife, you could beat and rape your wife yep. every night and she could take you to court and mm, nothing would happen because nothing. that would because the, uh, by the law, the law said you can't rape a man can't rape his wife. It's impossible according to the law. It can't happen. Doesn't exist. So I don't know what you're talking about. That's what that's what we had in this country with these crazy ass right wing white dudes. So if you want to go back to that, 
I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what kind of country you expect that you want to live in. That's just, that's just insanity. Well, I, com know? I complained about that with women, especially white women, um, in the last election. I complained about that. So you want this, um, what they call it, toxic masculinity. You want a man whistling at you, grabbing up your skirt and all that shit that Donald Trump stands for. What did he say? Grab him by the pussy. Um, yeah. I said, I said th that's what you want. And more people came out and voted for this. But if me and Larry start doing these things, they'll treat us like we Michael Vick and never let it go. They'll treat us like we've been dogfighting and we'll be the villains forever, even though Trump has done all these myriad of things that are horrible. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got to ice this cake. I'm going to say this again. I'm going to put this up here for you guys to write this stuff now. You have got to give Biden the ammunition he needs in the Senate. We have got to win these two seats in Georgia. This is Raphael Warnock, and this is John Ossoff. Go donate to their campaigns. Help out Stacey Abrams, who deserves a cabinet seat, ladies and gentlemen. She deserves a cabinet seat. And Mitch McConnell has already said, which is why you have got to help out GA and get these votes in, Mitch McConnell has already said he's going to block any cabinet seats of extreme lefties, such as Stacey Abrams, such as Keisha Lance Bottoms, such as Pete Buttigieg. Larry, last I checked, did any, and Susan Rice too, anybody I named is extreme left? Anybody? Did I just name no, any? Well, they're, they're, they, are, they, are, they are a minority. If okay. you're talking about being a woman and they're black or they're gay, then yeah, they're they're extreme to Mitch McConnell because they are a they're a woman or a minority or gay. And right. so yeah, that's extreme to him. I mean, basically what Mitch McConnell is saying is he's not gonna want anybody in there that's not a white male. If right. you're not a straight white male, he doesn't want you in there. And so it, it, I mean, this this race in Georgia is going to be vitally important, and I, I hope to God that they get both of those seats. It will change the entire conversation in this country. It will change how things work and operate in this country. So we'll we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, let, you know? ladies and gentlemen, donate five dollars if you can. Let's get these people off the ground. So. The next one we might like talk about Mitch, Mitch Dyan. Mitch Dyan's not going to do any good. It's not. It's not about the end. Of, I mean, Mitch. I mean, he is. A, he is a, a an, yeah. an unpatriotic, evil dude in a lot of ways. But him dying is not going to solve the problem because all that's going to happen if he dies is that the governor of Kentucky is going to appoint another another uh, senator mm -hmm. who's also going to be a Republican. So and and because they would still end up holding the majority, the the next person in line is just going to go ahead and take it. So, I mean, the, right. the, and, the way and, to solve the problem is is to get more senators from the left, more Democratic senators. Yeah. That's what we need. Yes, meaning you know. go support that race in Georgia. $5 helps, ladies and gentlemen, support that race.